I've started laying out all the parts to make sure I have everything. I have this nice red color because this was part of the beta kit. If you watched the unboxing video, you may recall I was really excited about the actual bed of the printer, and that was because it seemed a lot thicker. So I grabbed the bed off of my maker's kit, which you can see here is a lot thinner. Holding them up side by side, the new kit has about double the thickness of the bed. So let's review what we have here. Here's the base, these are the sides. This is the top, this little guy here is the XZ plate. This will actually carry the print head up and down in the Z direction, and it'll ride back and forth in the X direction. This guy here actually carries the extruder, and this is a little shroud to protect your hand from touching the hot end. Let's start looking at what's inside the bags. Here's the hardware bag, let's take a look at what's inside. M2 10 millimeter screws, M2.5 10 millimeter screws, this is likely only in the beta and has been replaced with M2 screws only. M3 6mm screws, M3 6mm button head screws, M3 8mm, M3 16mm, M3 22mm, M3 25mm, M3 30mm, M3 40mm, an M3 hex nut, M4 12mm screw, M4 18mm, M4 22mm, M4 washers, 3 8 inch plastite screws, extruder spring, 1 8 inch nylon spacers, rubber feet, rubber grommet, M3 set screws. You get a quarter pound of filament to get you started. Here's a bag of zip ties. The power cord is a laptop power supply. This bag has the printer board in it, and I advise that you keep it in the anti-static bag until you actually need to take it out of there. Here are the four stepper motors, nicely wrapped in styrofoam. This is the wiring bag. Let's take a look inside. The induction sensor, which is the auto-leveling probe. A 6-inch and 28-inch end stop. Thermistor cable. Hot end power cable. 6-pin power dongle. 30 millimeter fans. Fan splitter, fan extension cable, micro USB cable, UBIS hot end. Here's the GT2 bag. Let's take a look inside. GT2 belts, braided wire sleeves, GT2 pulleys, wooden wrenches and test square, and Allen wrenches. This bag is full of 3D printed parts. These pieces are 3D printed because I have a beta kit you most likely have molded plastic parts. The x-axis rod clamps, the x-axis bearing clamp, the sensor clamp, which holds the auto-leveling probe, and bearing clamps. Here are the metal rods that came with the kit. You have four shorter ones, two longer ones, and a threaded rod. This is the Delrin and metal bag. The Acme Delrin nut, z-axis rod end, y-axis rod ends, Delrin idler pulleys, belt tensioners, z-axis couplers, 624 bearings, 8mm linear bearings, aluminum extruder set, extruder gear, and Delrin wire relief. Here I've organized all the screws in this nice little tray so they're easy to find. You can find one of these at any hardware store, but in the event you don't have one or don't want to get one, you can actually use a 7-day pill container and just put a piece of tape over the lid and write down what the part is. Now that I have all my parts organized, I'm ready to start building. Thank you for watching.